Oh, my camera's shaky. I guess it'll just stop on its own. <laughs> Donna here. I went today and got my uh, first soft reline done on my dentures in the um, office today. And, you know, it's a little different than what I'm used to with the denture fit. Um, because, you know, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that um, I tested out denture fit um, and wore it for about a week and love the crap out of it. Um, this right now, um, I wish I could take it out and show you what it looks like. I don't even know what it looks like myself. Um, well, because they put that powder adhesive on your denture every time they hand it back to you for you to put it in and leave the office. So the tops are glued in pretty well. I can probably jimmy up the bottom. Yeah, I can pull the, bo the bottom out. Ugh, excuse me, there's a little bit of glue on there. So what I'm noticing as I look inside of it is that the little bumpies that are there for, that go down inside of these are not as pronounced as they were with the denture fit. Um, now, if you watched my video of the snug up application that I did on the denture fit, Oh, and there's like a crumb in there. I'm sorry about that. That's so gross. I'm going to be rinsing these out before I put them back in. Matter of fact, let me go do that now. Okay. <laughs> sorry about that. So, and I'm supposed to leave these in for several hours because I guess it's a cold cure kind of thing. Um, but what I'm seeing here is there are some really, and you probably can't tell, but this spot right here is really, really thin where this part sticks up a little more because when they told me to bite down I bit down kind of hard um, but the little bumps that are inside of here from where my extraction sites are and that's an implant and that's an implant you'll be seeing the, more of that whenever I get those exposed before I get my implanted final denture on the bottom but um, the little bumps that are inside of here are not nearly as pronounced as they were with the denture fit. And I remember because the little station where the girl was working on my dentures, because she did adjustments for me right after she had trimmed off all the flashing from the reline, um, uh, I remember seeing her take a tool and scoop out a lot of these and, and um, make them shorter. So where I had gone in on my denture with the denture fit and with a with an exacto knife or a utility knife and cut them out to the best of my ability she was able to do it in a much more professional manner because she had the proper tools so um i'm not experiencing the irritation from those that i was with the denture fit which just tells me that on my next application um if i still have pronounced holes like these that I should uh, be a little more diligent in how I take care of those bumps. Um, there's not a whole lot of flashing uh, around the outside, maybe just a little bit like right here. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but there's just like, like you can see just a little bit of it, but the stuff is the same color as my denture and I notice that there's quite a bit here where my frenulum is on the bottom see the little the little flappy of skin that's where this stuff is so it's almost like it corrected an over adjustment that they did before now I don't want to push on this stuff too hard I'm going to put this back in and I don't have any residue from glue or anything the top one is glued in, so I can't tell if the fit just feels nice because not only is it reformed to my mouth, but it's snug because there's adhesive there, or if it's just from the reline itself. I'll report back on that um, again another time. And now they're cold because I rinsed them out with cold water. 
Um, but they realigned my realigned my bite. So, but it's all still turned like this way. And they said they know that. They just wanted to make sure that this little tooth right here wasn't doing this number like it was before. So now it goes up underneath of there where it belongs. And uh, this feels a little more bulky at the back wall uh, than what it did with the Denture Fit. And that's one thing that I don't like is that bulky feeling right in the center of the back of my palette. I, I don't like that I feel... Ugh. Excuse me. See, now that I'm thinking about it, now it wants to gag me. And it's not that far back. It's just now that I'm think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. Now that I'm thinking about it and I'm aware of it, now it makes me want to gag when I speak. Because the place in my mouth where I put my tongue up to make certain consonant sounds hits right hits right on that spot so like the k, k sound that forces me to hit that spot w w definitely the y sound g get you hear it's like g y and it should be y and i kind of have to scoop my whole tongue back and spread it out across the back part of my mouth to get it to come out right, yeah. W, X, X is another one because that K sound in there. Y, Z. Um, so I'm not real fond of the new fit here and having to relearn how to speak all again. Um, I'm gonna give it a couple of days because I'm not due back for another dentist's reline until uh, two months from now. So, I'm supposed to call them in six weeks to schedule the appointment. Um, I'm going to give it a couple of days and see if I can get used to it. But if I still hate it after a few days, after giving it an honest try, uh, I'll be ripping this out and reapplying the denture fit. Um, I did take the denture fit off yesterday because I knew I had this appointment this morning. <laughs> And I guess I left a couple of little pieces that I wasn't able to get because the girl comes back with my denture and she's like, what is on this? I said, it's silicone. Don't do that. People reline their, and she told me that people reline their um, dentures themselves and they screw up their bite um, or they knock their bite off or whatever. And I said, well, I don't know how anyone would do that because we're all very aware of our bite. And we're all very aware of what's comfortable and what's not. And we're all doing the top before we do the bottom, if we do the bottom at all. So I don't see the problem. My bite, I fixed it myself. Just the same way as she fixed it today, from my dentures being incredibly loose, from having zero reliner and zero denture fit inside of them, they were incredibly loose and incredibly difficult to manage and incredibly uncomfortable. And... So, and I told her, I said, well, you know, for me, I lined my bite and my midlines back up the same way that you did, and it was very, very comfortable, and it was a big relief for me in between visits. And she just kind of looked at me, and I felt like a cheating ass wife, like, <laughs> I felt terrible. Uh, but not really, because I love my denture hit, and, um... That's why I bought more, like the sample that OTC Dental was nice enough to send me for free. I'm out of that, and I ordered another kit because I knew this reline was coming, and I knew that if I hated it, I would want to go right back to the denture fit, and if I didn't hate it, I will still need to go back to the denture fit, and I will be putting it over top of the reline if I can learn to live with the reline until my gums shrink up and it's, you know, too loose and whatever. Um... So I'm going to try to get through the rest of my day with zero glue on those bad boys uh, because, like I've said in previous videos, I feel like I need to get used to it. Ooh, and the taste that just came out of there when I did that, it was like a waft up of like body filler. It, excuse me, I got dry mouth again. Cotton mouth without the benefits to offset it. Yeah, so I'll be soaking my uh, dentures in a baking soda and water mixture this evening.
to try and get rid of some of that taste and that smell. I didn't notice it until I took this one out. Like there was a weird little aftertaste on food. Like I tried to eat a peanut butter Twix earlier. Let me back up. I ate a peanut butter Twix earlier and the cookie part had a weird taste to it. And I thought at first, like, man, what's with this funky candy, like this funky cookie on this candy? It's not the the candy, it's it's my dentures because the reline right now. So that is what I have to say so far about my dental my dentist office reline versus denture fit, um, and about my first reline in general. And I would love to hear from you if you've had a similar experience with your first reline or what you do to get rid of the smell and the taste. It's Like I say, it's not so bad until I take it out. Um, also, if you don't have dentures yet, um, were you aware that every once in a while you need to get your dentures relined and refit to your face? And, uh, you know, if not, how does that make you feel? Leave me a comment. I love to read and respond to all of your comments and you know every single one I get to nowadays so if you leave one I'll write you back I promise that's all I have for you today I will be back tomorrow with another video thank you so much for watching go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell so that you never miss a video um keep being good to each other keep smiling and keep being awesome <laughs>